Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a component with composition. Uh, now we will look at how we can compose multiple React components together. Imagine you are building an app and have created three components, a nav bar, a dashboard, and a footer. To compose these components together, you could create an app parent component which renders each of these three components as children. To render a component as a child in a React component, you include the component name written as a custom HTML tag in the JSX. For example, in the render method, you could write this. And so here, in the render method, they're going to return a JSX component, which has a single app um, uh, component in it. And that is made up of the nav bar, the dashboard, and the footer. So when React encounters a custom HTML tag that references another component, a component's name wrapped is like this, so there, this is a component. <clears throat> um, it renders the markup for that component in the location of the tag. This should illustrate the parent-child relationship between app component and navbar, footer, and dashboard. So in the code editor, there is a simple functional component called child component, which is this one right here, and a class component called parent component. So here's another one a class component. So there's a constant of a, so this one's a child component and we'll notice it's a constantly, it's, it's, a, it's a function that returns some JSX. Yeah, so it's a function. This whole thing is function. Um, another way you could write a uh, child component would be a uh, function, child component like this. You'll recognize this more. This is the way that original vanilla JavaScript and then this is the um, way to write it in ES6. It's uh, almost the same thing. Um, it's just the new um, syntax of it. Uh, compose the two, t okay, and then there's the class. So the class extends the React. And so what we can do is in the code editor, there, there is a simple functional component called child component and a class component called parent component. Compose the two together by rendering the child component within the parent component. So here's the parent component, and then we want to render the child component in there. Um, Oh, this is just telling you that that was an ES6, so I just went over that. Okay, so what we want to do here is uh, just follow the instructions, really. Um, what we're going to do is, um, yeah, we're, this is this is the way you write it in React, just uh, and then close it out like that. So I am the child. You see that I am the I am the parent, and then within underneath I am the parent, we're rendering the child component, which says I am the child, and you see I am the child is here, and I think that would pass the tests. Okay, awesome. So yeah, uh, th some things to pay attention here is we're creating a function here and then we're, that function is basically a piece of JavaScript that can inject another thing in there. So now we can use that as we, um, we, de we develop our, our parent component. Our parent component is, has the constructor here, which we'll go over in future lessons. And then we're rendering at our function for render uh, returns the parent component, when you say parent component dot render, you're returning this guy here, which is the div. And then within the div, we've got the original um, text, which is the h1 element. And then we have the p text, which is set, set within a div, which renders out when we render the child component. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.